hello guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i thought i would pick up the camera and vlog it is my first video of the month hello october probably my favorite month of the year i'm not gonna lie it's when we really start to get the cozy feels british bake off is on some really nice autumnal dog walks in there but today we're going to head to cheshire oaks uh, this morning see what we can find there is actually a couple of new stores which have opened and the center have very kindly invited me down to check them out share them show them to you guys it's not like a sponsored post or anything but they are gifting me a little voucher so we're going to spend it in store there's a charlotte tilbury and a clarence which i'm going to head to first i am going to take barney with me as i'm sure if you're not new to my channel you will have seen before that i've taken barney to cheshire oats before it's very dog friendly which is great all the stores have little paw prints on the windows if they're dog friendly and i don't think i'm i think i'm yet to find a store that doesn't have a paw print on it so yeah, we're gonna take Barney. He's split one of his like claws. Doesn't look infected or anything like that. And I'm just watching it. He's not limping on it, but I just don't want him running around today. So I thought I'd take him with me and that can be his nice walk for the morning. A nice walk around Treasure Oaks. I'm sure he would much rather be in a, a field running riot, but chasing squirrels. But no, he's coming shopping with his mum today. So that's on the agenda for this morning. I'm not going to probably spend too long there because I do want to get back, get on with some work and some housey bits as well. And yeah, it's also forecast to get a very stormy later on. So I don't want to get caught out in the rain. So I thought I would get up, get ready, get there for opening, which is 10 a.m. I'm actually a bit early. It's only just gone nine and it only takes me about half an hour to get there. And I'm like if anyone else gets this like if you're ready early for something i can't function i can't do anything else i'm like pottering around like thinking what can i do like there's no point setting off yet because i'm gonna be early the center's not even gonna be open but then at the same time i just think maybe i should just set off take the drive nice and slow put on a podcast at least then I'm en route and then if I get there I'm still really early. Just have a bit of a wander around with Barney until the guest service is open which is where I'm heading to get my voucher. Um, I'm also, I think I can get a treatment at Clarins, like a hand and arm massage or something. Could get like a facial but I've literally just put on makeup so I thought I would, as much as I would love a facial, can't be bothered with that with it being the first kind of like appointment of the day. <laughs> 10 o'clock ish so yeah i think maybe a hand and arm massage if barney will cooperate and sit there patiently if not we'll skip the treatments but just know that if you are going to cheshire oaks there are treatments available so just have a look at the clarence and see what you can um book on to have i'll show you what i'm wearing today and then we'll get on the road barney is going to be in his barber collar and lead today aren't you barn yeah are you excited to go out <laughs> i will leave what i can linked but essentially i've just got a basic white tee on this blazer which is actually old from zara i feel like zara blazers are the best so i'll see if there's a similar one i've just noticed a little mark on it though that's annoying hopefully my bag will cover it who knows my bag might have even caused it i don't know um and then just some leggings on from Lululemon. There is a Lululemon store there as well, so I always have a quick look, see if they've got any aligned leggings in, which are these ones. And then these Veja trainers I've been loving. They're so comfy. And I've been wearing them like purely for this kind of thing, rather than like it turning into a dog walk, just keep them clean. <laughs> So that's what I've been doing with these ones. I've got a YSL bag as well. And then on my agenda of things I'm looking out for today, a couple of things, maybe some black sunglasses. I only really have these ones, which I love, but they are tortoise shell, these are Gucci ones. Um, yeah, I really like them, but I just feel like I could do with a black pair as well. Um, so maybe on the hunt for some glasses i also am thinking i need a waterproof coat and i've got a list of ones to have a look at online if i'm unsuccessful today but i just thought i might as well check out cheshire oaks first to see if they've got any like i'm talking dog attire nothing too fancy just dog walking waterproof is the key um lightweight kind of jacket to replace my one which i've 
had for like three years and it's been worn to death basically. From Adidas I would repurchase but they don't do it anymore. Um, jewelry, I've just got on these rings from Ana Luisa, my watch which is Rolex and then this necklace is also Ana Luisa. I feel like my pumpkin jar is looking a little sad so I know there's a lint store there so I'm thinking we can get maybe a mixture of colours. These are the blood orange ones which are quite ready but I'm after some orange golds and we can maybe pop them in there. All right, without further ado, mister, you've been waiting patiently all morning. You've usually had your walk by now, but we're gonna go. Are you coming? Or are you gonna stay here? You want to come with mummy? Yeah. <laughs> He's off. He's gone. I have just fully dropped my camera. <laughs> Hoping that this works but maybe it's time for a new one. I was just talking about getting a new Canon camera, vlogging camera as well, so maybe this is the sign. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't a new one. Um, but yeah, we've arrived and we're just going to guest services, which says this way, before heading in the shops, which open in literally two minutes. I've got my little goodie bag and vouchers. I'm gonna to head to the new Clarence store first. Um, and they were just telling me at guest services they've got two dogs coming from Battersea home today to try and rehome them. They've got like a, I think she said a wolfhound and a pug. So they're gonna do some something on socials with them. I'm not sure if they'll already be rehomed or not, but maybe just check out their socials and see what they have to say because I just think that is so nice and I do think sometimes that little bit of exposure helps get dogs rehomed to the right home. Anyway, I am just by Michael Kors and they've said the new Clarence store is right opposite it. So let's head on inside and see what they've got. A lot has changed since we last spoke. Life's been good to you and I see that you're with someone new Maybe you are better off now that you're with him But when I see your face I can't stop myself from spiraling Now I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling down after an incredibly relaxing hand and arm massage, I then headed to David Clulo sunglasses to have a quick look at the different range of brands and things that they sold. Tried on a few, um, quite liked some Prada ones. Um, these Celine ones as well, I thought were not for me, but quite popular at the minute. So quite good that they were a uh, designer outlet. Anyway, I then headed over to one of my faves, Lululemon, did make a purchase. And then lots of different photo opportunities around Cheshire Oaks. So I just took the opportunity to take a quick video of Barney before heading into Burberry. They had a really good deal on with uh, save 20%, I think it was with 500 pound spend or 30% with a 900 pound spend, which is quite easily done in Burberry with especially their like classic trenches, some bags and other accessories. Really liked this cute little one and was tempted, but did leave it on this occasion. Yet again, another cute photo opportunity. And then I headed on into the cosmetics company store. Always love a good look around here. They even had some bargain sale finds, including Bobby Brown from eight pound. Tom Ford candles and they always have Jo Malone in there. They even had the huge ones at £277 which you rarely see in the outlets. Just having a pit stop aren't we Barn? We've come to Pret. Just got myself a Easy Greens which is coconut water, cucumber, apple, spinach, pineapple, kale, lime and mint so full of goodness and then I also you know balance and all. I also got myself a little macaroni and cheese. My heart belongs to you, cause I'm not over you. 
We all shopped out now, Barn. We all finished. He's just enjoying a cappuccino. And I've got a decaf pumpkin spice latte. We also got, let me just give you that cup. Is this little dog bakery, the original dog bakery, which is so cute. And they've got loads of like seasonal bits out at the minute. So I got him a pumpkin blondie. Oh, get it, Barn. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> Um, yeah, he got a pumpkin blondie and then with my pumpkin spice latte I also got myself one of these cake pops caramelized biscuit cake pops Which is like very overpriced, but we'll try it and see what we think mm. Wow You wouldn't be able to eat more than just one well maybe two <laughs> and we are done all shopped out it's half one so i literally have spent all morning there let me just take my blows off it's actually quite warm well 17 degrees it feels quite toasty barney was such a good boy he got all the attention didn't you bud <laughs> it's always so nice bringing him here with everyone just being so dog friendly and um, there was one shop that didn't allow dogs so i have discovered one and it's lint so it kind of makes sense it is a chocolate shop but they had a little area right out the side basically he was sat by the front door and the shop was that small that i just said do you mind if he just stays there and they said no no that's fine there so he just sat like a good boy he always does even in the shops, like when I'm trying things on, like the coats, I've got a couple of coats, which I'll show you when I get home. And I don't bother going into change room for coats, I just like try it on in front of a mirror. And I'd always just make him sit, try it on. And I, the staff were like, how does he just stay there? I'm like, well, he's a good boy. Aren't you a good boy? Sure. Anyway, I'm still sipping on my pumpkin spice latte. So I've not put my Invisalign back in yet because these do make your Invisalign orange. So yeah, just enjoying that. I will set off back home. How long does it say? 35 minutes, not too bad. Or whilst we're in the area, do we go to Inspirations Wholesalers as they have a lot of all of their Christmas stuff out now. And they, there is a Christmas event, but I can't go to it. So I'm gonna miss out. Or do I wait and come back close to Christmas and do that with you guys? Oh, I feel like I might wait until closer to Christmas just because I feel like it's one of those places that is it's not going to just sell out That's why I get on board early with places like home sense for like autumn decor because they sell out quickly Whereas inspirations I feel like they'll have a good amount of stock into like Late October early November, so we'll go back and do that another time But for now, let's head on back home I was going to post some Instagram stories and stuff whilst I was here, but the signal, for some reason, it says I'm on 4G, but it's just not connecting to my Instagram stories. So I've taken some snippets and I'll upload them when we get home. Um, but yeah, let's head home. I'll show you what I got. Got quite a bit. And we'll get on the road, Jack. Nothing quite like it. PSL season. It's the best time of the year. All right, I've just brought all the bags in. Oh, look what I got yesterday when I went to M&S. Da, da, da. They have the Christmas food brochure out. I haven't even flicked through this yet because, oh, come on Zoe, sub. I'm a huge fan of the party food at M&S and love to create a picky tea on Christmas Eve. That is the best food over Christmas. I actually am gonna go as far as to say I prefer the picky Christmas Eve tea. I prefer it to the Christmas dinner, day dinner. Is that Tommy Fury? 
Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to have a good uh, flick through this. Oh, look at that goodness. Delicious. And maybe think about putting in our order. I did say to Tom yesterday, I said, you have to get your Christmas food shop. Sorry, I'm just going to go down into the basement and switch on our dehumidifier, which I've been... I'm working with this company called ProBreeze. I've got... um like a fan that I used, like an air conditioning unit that, oh my God, was a godsend in our bedroom <laughs> during the heat wave. But I'm just gonna pop it on in here. It's basically, it's a dehumidifier. But like, oh, Tom's very really open. But um, yeah, for this basement, it made me realize how much moisture is in the air down here. I just, not that you don't ha like you can't, but I just don't like to have it on when I'm not in the house or like anything on like that. Um, but again, it's got like timers and stuff that you can turn it off or it turns itself off at night or when it's full. But anyway, I'm just gonna switch that on because I need to do some laundry later. Dry, it's like I'm doing the ad for here, but honestly, I've been using it that much and loving it that much because it fills up with water. It baffles me how much moisture there is down there. It is a basement though. Oh my God, what's that breath? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna sit down and share with you the bits that I got. I feel like though, I kind of wanna get into my comfies. First, do I do that? Barney's cream crackered. I'm actually really tired too, bud. I don't know why I'm so tired. I feel like, well, I'm due on, it's time of the month. And we have literally been walking around all morning. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get some comfy clothes on. I need to build this as well today at some point. This I got from Dunelm, it's upside down, but it's a clothes rail, which I'm gonna put in my filming room, as I like to call it, just to have a rail to hand for like new in bits, for steaming clothes, that kind of thing. And then, yeah, probably just pop it, where am I gonna put it? Like when you come into this room, I just have my ring light over there, so I think I might pop that, once it's built, just stood there somewhere, and then at least there's a little section there. I do also have, it's kind of gonna be like, not haul heavy, but item heavy this video, so I will show you, um, I'll, leave everything linked in the description box. I've just popped on some of this. They had these in the Clarins store. I feel like I keep, I keep switching. Like I keep going to finish this sentence and then I start talking about something else. But anyway, these lip perfectors are so nice. This is the color that I've got now. They're very sheer though. They're hardly like a color, but that color is number 21. And then this one is really pretty as well. Like a corally um, shade. That one's 22. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to get this set on. My free people set. And then we'll take you downstairs. Share with you the Cheshire Oaks bit.
just praying that <sighs> no but I need to <sighs> I don't think it's getting into his head what I'm asking him to do no take it outside outside go on one second You brought this like scabby old tennis ball that he's found on a walk, like real muddy, gross one that's falling apart inside the house. And I keep saying, take it outside. He's not getting the concept of it's an outside toy. Anyway, um, I was saying earlier before I got distracted about it being kind of link heavy, this video with product links in the description box, because although to be fair, I probably won't link most of these bits because they're Cheshire Oaks bits, but um, I also wanted to share with you, with it being Hello October, first video of the month, some monthly favorites as well, like not loads. But anyway, that's what I was saying earlier before I got distracted. I'm sure I was saying something else as well before I got distracted again even further. But we're here. We are sat down. We are in our comfies. The candles are lit. The lamps are on. After I've shown you these bits, I'm going to catch up on Bake Off because I never, I didn't get to watch it on um, Tuesday when it was on. Basically, this TV has like four... What is it? It's not 4OD anymore, all four is it called? Channel 4 catch up, but it doesn't have Channel 4 live. So we were sat down here and it wasn't on TV. So I'm gonna have to either watch it on my laptop or we need to get an aerial sort of for this house really. But basically we just watch like smart TV. We just either watch Netflix, use like catch up services or like I say, BBC, ITV and that. They all have like live players on there, just not Channel 4, which is kind of annoying. Um, but anyway, I feel like we should just get into this haul because we have quite a few bags here. Praying that this camera, when I come back to edit this footage, isn't gonna be broken or like the sound's off or something after dropping it earlier because <laughs> it was a fairly big drop. But anyway, let's start with the North Face. So I got a coat from the North Face and it's basically just, um, I did say that I was after a waterproof coat. So I've got two, definitely didn't need two, but both of them, I can return them if I decide I want to, but they're actually both for very different reasons, different purposes. And I do get a lot of wear out of my waterproof coats, I will say that. So this is one that is kind of, I would say, the replacement to the one that I already had. It's a kind of mushroomy taupe colour, big hood, zip all the way, and it's just simply a longer line coat. It just has the North Face written there. I like the fact that it's a longer length and it's got nice zippable big pockets as well which is always handy for like poo bags and treats and everything like that and this was in an extra large I tried it on though and it fit me fine so I went with it and also I like these Parker style coats because they're so thin to wear as they are now but then in winter like layer up with like a hoodie underneath so original price 155 outlet price 103 and because I put in my email at the checkout for email updates, it was 20, an additional 20% off anything over £100. And I, I didn't even know that until I got to the till. And obviously this is 103 So it just took me over that um, threshold. So I got an extra 20% off. So it was like 80 something pounds. £82.40. Pounds then the other coat that I got is actually from Barber and again it's more of like a shell coat so I could probably do with like a real wintry thick like really warm coat still but for now I feel like these two will last me so the first one was like above the knee this one is a really long one so this for me will be more a case of when it's lashing it down and I've got like boots on and then this over the top so because it's so long I don't have that section of my knee that gets soaking wet. So it's in a like a nice kind of stone colour and it's again like I said really long line. It's called the Crossfields jacket. They only had one left 
and it was in a size 18 and it was 170 pounds. For me, I'm, I'm undecided on whether or not I'll keep this. I want to like properly try it on with like a dog walking outfit, see how it fits. From Charlotte Tilbury. I didn't realize this when I was going, but it's actually a pop-up. So the Charlotte Tilbury, the Clarins one isn't because they were the two stores I was going to check out today. The Clarins one, is where the old guest services was so it's quite a big store they've got that section where i was having my hand and arm massage which they can like curtain off they do like express facials eye treatments skin consults and loads of stuff that's completely free of charge by the way you just go in say oh can i have a hand and arm massage or a facial or whatever you want and they'll do it for you because they don't have you know clarence lovers Mum, I know if you're watching, you are one of these people. Clarins lovers love to go into a Clarins shop and say, have you got any samples? I even, whilst I was in there getting my hand and arm massage, three people came in, like women with their husbands shopping, and each one of them, I think only one of them actually bought something, but the other two were just looking. But all three of them said, do you have any samples? And I just thought, I can hear, that's my mum. I can hear my mum. They don't have samples because they are the outlet stores. They don't have like testers or anything. So that's why they can do color matching for foundations. They have like their full size testers that they can do on you. They don't have little samples for you to like take or try at home. Um, but the store is lovely, it's quite big. But anyway, the Charlotte Tilbury one is a pop-up only. So you have to be, well I say be quick. It's there until March, so it's like a six month pop-up believe they had this because obviously with it being an outlet they didn't have flawless filter which I would have loved to stock up of with it being an outlet and this being already a popular product um even the girls there were saying they were quite surprised that it was there and they don't know what stock they're going to get over these six months but anyway beautiful skin foundation is one of my faves I couldn't remember the shade that I've had previously so I had a bit of color match and I went for three neutral but it's just a really nice lightweight foundation that if you don't like to wear foundation this is a good foundation and then i've never tried this before but i thought i would give it a go it's the airbrush flawless finish they had airbrush foundation there as well but these they had three different shades i went for the number one fair because i feel like if i'm wearing a powder to kind of set my foundation. I want it to be either translucent or very pale to just kind of highlight areas. That's where I tend to powder. Beautiful skin foundation was 35 and I think they retail for about 40. These were 30 pounds. And then last but not least, I did pick up a palette at 48 pounds. Now the palette that I already have from Charlotte Tilbury, the Pillow Talk one, I love. They did have it there, but they only had it in a like big set of things, which was at the checkout for like £275 or something. Um, but then they had these palettes, and because I am a big lover of my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette, I thought I would get this as a secondary one, because also it's got a complete different variety of shades these three in particular i'm really intrigued by and these as well actually as like more every day and browns the only ones that i probably in fact the only one i wouldn't wear is probably this one what else did i get um let's show you these bits from wittard chelsea these ordinarily i think are 10 to 12 pounds each in stores but in the outlets they were two for 14 so I picked up these two flavours. You could get the teas or the hot chocolates, but I went for the limited edition gingerbread flavour hot chocolate. They also had like a cookies and cream one. And then I also went for this spiced chai. I also did, right, okay. This was one of those things that really annoyed me. And if I had the patience and the time, I would have sorted it out, but with the dog and everything. And I thought, Cheshire, it's very kind, he gave me a voucher, so I'm already up and grateful for that anyway. So I thought, I'm just going to leave it, move on, go home, but tell you guys. David Clulo, never shopped in here before. It was a lovely store, and it was the first sunglasses store that I went to, but the sunglasses hut had this exact pair for £40 cheaper. Got it. So anyway, £40 or... No, £50 cheaper. So these retail for 234 They're from Prada, so they're like a spenny purchase. I wanted a decent pair, and I've been after sunglasses for ages. Honestly, I didn't have hopes, high hopes that I would even find a pair that I liked. But yeah, when I saw these, I really liked them. 210 they were in David Clulo. 
In sunglasses hut, they were 160. So it's kind of annoying, but you know, it's what it is. But yeah, if you want to check these out at Cheshire Oaks, go to Sunglasses Hut first. So that's all I'm gonna say. Comes in a nice Prada case. And yeah, so they're black, which is what I was after. They're not too in your face, they're quite simple. The only kind of branding is on the side. And they're just kind of like a cat eye style. Not too big on my face. Just a good all rounder kind of pair that look good on my head, which is how I often wear my sun sunnies. And um, yeah, I really like them. Just a classic black Prada pair of sunglasses. So now I've not got my tortoiseshell Gucci, my Prada, first ever thing I've owned from Prada, I think. Um, Prada black sunnies, and that's it. That's probably me done. I like to have a capsule collection when it comes to designer items because of the price tag. A Lululemon. Love a good browser Lululemon. Got lucky. I didn't get any aligned leggings, although they did have quite a few there, but they were all just like quite bright colours. The neutrals, you don't tend to see that often. So when I saw the Align top, which I have already in white and black and love, when I saw it in this colour, I was like, perfect. What a lucky find, because this is like a nice neutral shade. It was only £29. These retail for £45 usually. And I got... Um, a size eight. So the leggings I wear in a six, because they're American sizes, so you've got to size up twice. So a six is a eight, a 10, and an eight is a 12, UK 12. Beautiful shade as well. And then um, from MacArthur Glen themselves, they also uh, obviously show you those Clarins lip products from earlier, but I also got these Clarins products and I was gonna buy this and then I saw that it was in the goodie bag so I'm glad I didn't because we've got it here to try it. So you be let me just get my phone. Here are your new messages. Hi, good afternoon before I'm calling from housing units. It's just a quick difficult I said people to know really short telephone. If you give me the call back on 016681 5678 and call your sales on the multi-air Welcome to Housing Units. This is my favourite delivery. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, so it's a UV plus anti-pollution SPF 50. They also have included a V facial intensive wrap. One last thing from Hotel Chocolat. Oh no, two things, because I went into lint as well. To be honest with you, the lint bits that I got, I'll pop them in my pumpkin jar now, but it's just literally a bag full of a complete mixture. Basically everything that I saw in there that was either like gold, brown, yeah, just to mix into that pumpkin jar. And then Hotel Chocolat, because we're hosting this year for Christmas, I thought these would be a great idea, these crackers for the tablescape. They only had two. She did say that they might be getting more and also they do still sell these in normal shops just at full price. So these are normally five pounds each but they're at the outlet they're four pounds each or they were three for 12 which made them four pounds each. But they only had two left so she just sold me them at four pounds each and I thought even if at some point, like in the lead up to Christmas, me and Tom just have a solo dinner date whereby I can get these out for just the two of us. Or if I can get my hands on more of those, then I'll maybe use these for the tablescape for Christmas. Does it have an expiry date? Yeah, best before, yeah, not until April 24. So they'll be good for Christmas if we don't use them sooner. And then I also got these, which I thought would be good for like gift ideas for Christmas. They like had loads of like Christmas gifting and advent calendars and all sorts. They had loads of different um, types, but they were on offer three for 20 pounds, I want to say. Um, and again, all really good dates on, so good for gifting. And yeah, all next year. I went for the a dozen portly penguins, the Enchanted Forest Solid Milk and Milk caramel chocolate um, trees, delicious. And then a dozen gingerbread men, 12 festive fellows cast in milk chocolate with a hint of gingerbread spice. So that's everything that I got from Cheshire Oaks. And um, then they, I did actually pop into a Molten Brown uh, whilst I was there. But then I remembered 
QVC said they were going to be sending me some molten brown bits because they um, are stocking them. So I think that's what this is. I've got home to this parcel. So I thought we could open it up and see. It's really stuck on there. I think it's Christmas Eve. Go ahead and you're gifting in this festive period with this 11 piece set from Molten Brown exclusively available. You're going to have to get it today because it's um, at a special launch price from the 28th of September to the 1st of October. Perfect for gifting with two scent profiles to choose from fresh or floral and three separate gift boxes, meaning wrapping is not required or if you really wanted to, split up the gifting so you can like share it amongst three different people worth 113 the collection is available at qvc at just 59.95 saving over 49 pounds but again that ends today so you'd have to get that today if you want that treat your loved ones and yourself this festive period with the help of molten brown thank you so much qvc we love molten brown i have always I just feel like they're a real large box has in here the three shower gels, large shower gels. Heavenly Ginger Lily. Oh, I've not tried this one before. Relaxing Ylang Ylang. And Rosa Absolute. Two hand washes, I'm going to say. Or like minis. Yeah. Hand, five liquid hand wash in ginger, Heavenly Ginger Lily and Delicious Rhubarb and Rose. I have these in our um en suite in the spare bedroom it's always nice again like that kind of hotel feel whereby if you've got guests over they've got like mini uh products in this third box oh wow we've got a little set of six different minis these are good for traveling we've got orange and bergamot ylang ylang fiery pink pepper heavenly ginger lily this one i love the recharge black pepper and this one's really nice as well the coastal cypress and sea fennel delicious not that you eat it but they smell delicious that's for sure um so did my hand and arm massage at clarence as well i can still smell it on me I also came home to this parcel, which is anyone who's interested in gel nail polish, DIY at home gel nail polish. These are from a company called Nail Polish Direct, which I've got my other ones from in the past as well. And I thought I would try two new ones. I wanted a new like brown shade. So we'll try these next time I need to do my nails. I'll show you what they look like. This one's from OPI, which are my favorite. This one's OPI Tiramisu Super 2 that I've got on at the minute. But this one is called... Uh, bonfire serenade cool toned brown i feel like i'm really gonna like that actually i also bought this one which is from a brand that i've seen lots about but not actually tried their products myself so i bought this one from green flash and it's called the brand uh, the color is orm o-r-m-e and again this one is just oh, a nice brown shade oh yeah that's lovely yeah that's really nice see oh smells quite strong that one so yeah two new nail polishes that i bought as well to try out next next time i feel like i want to go a little deeper and darker with the uh autumn that is now here anyway i feel like i need to pop all these bits away now and get comfy get cozy on the sofa for a bit this afternoon catch up with bake off and then i'll share with you just a couple of monthly favorites that i have to share with you and guys some of the snacks that i have found the best biscuits i have ever had in my entire life that's all I have to say about them for now. i 
And here we have the rail complete. So I've just popped on these coats just to, well, and obviously this Lululemon top, but just so you can see the difference in length as well with them being hung up, how much longer that barber one is. I have actually got one other barber thing that I wanna show you. It's something that I was gonna include in like as a monthly favorites new purchase. I've got a couple of things, like I said earlier, that I wanted to mention. It's actually been a few hours now and I have watched Bake Off, so good. I actually have had dinner. Tom cooked us a gorgeous toad in the hole. So, so delicious. So we've eaten. We are ready to chill out for the evening. Evenings for sure are getting darker, which I'm not complaining about. I love the longer cozier evenings. I know it's something that a lot of people like dread in autumn and winter, but I just love it. I just think all the more cozy vibes. Um, but anyway, I'll show you this from Barber and then show you a couple of other monthly favorites that I wanted to mention. This gilet, I did mention it in like an autumn wish list recently that I was after some kind of fleecy lined or fleece gilet, which I feel like throughout winter especially, but autumn and winter, it's just gonna be a good staple for me to have a nice item like this for my dog walks, which let's face it guys, I do at least two dog walks every single day and especially when we do the like nicer dog walks on a weekend where we maybe go for food afterwards to have a nicer kind of dog walking attire is just something that i get my wear out of and i really enjoy so yeah this is from barber in a size 12 little gilet which is more quilted with the big pockets the barber logo there and the fleecy inner lining. It's also got a little pocket on the inside as well. I've got a couple of house items I wanted to show you. I went to the Arthur Swallows Antiques Fair, which I did vlog last time I went back in, was it August? Um, they did do one more, and because the August one or whatever it was, was a washout, like there was hardly any stalls there because of the rain, um, I decided, Tom and I both said, come on, let's go to this one now that it's dry today. Last minute decision, spare of the moment. It was the last one they had, so they won't be back until next year. But it was worlds apart from the first time we went. There were so many stands there, stalls with loads and loads of antiques, vintage finds, collectibles, and just some gorgeous finds that I was, um, yeah, so much happy. It's one of those antiques fairs as well, that it's not like all super polished antiques that are mega, mega expensive. There are some like that, but then there are also the more like rustic, which is what I like, kind of worn look that are actually more affordable or some things that look vintage and antique, but that aren't actually vintage and antique. Um, so yeah, I loved walking around. Didn't vlog it, unfortunately, but I did do like an Instagram reel if you did want to see some more things that we saw there. But the two finds that I picked up were firstly this pumpkin dough bowl, which gorgeous, right? Perfect rustic autumn decor. And I'm going to be really ruthless after this autumn. And well, to be honest, I already have. Anything that I've not really put out, I've donated. And things like this, I just know that I will use time and time again, year after year, get it out and love it. And I just think this sat on the dining table or the island with some pumpkins in, like some maybe white company felt ones or something, would look so nice. I bought this for £10, which I thought was a bargain. So I got that. And then the other item that we saw, one of the first stands actually that we saw this, um, and Tom actually spied it and I said, yeah, let's get it. So it's this huge pestle and mortar. We do have one, which is a smaller like marble one that I think Tom will use more. And then this one more to maybe sit out 
I mean, if you need a bigger pestle and mortar, then we've got one, but more even just sat out either in the middle of the island, styled up in the pantry on the worktop in there. I'm assuming that's the pestle, that's the mortar. But I don't know. And then one other home find. Oh no, I'll show you two actually. Uh, but this one was on Amazon and I've shown this before and I actually gave this to a friend. It's a really nice coffee table book and so I decided to buy one for myself and it is just full of remote places to stay around the world. So a good inspo for traveling. It's a really nice like linen cover. The other final home purchase, just a really random purchase from home sense this reminded me of the snow cap mug that i actually have with my initial on from anthropology i don't think it's on their website now but i'm sure they'll bring it out towards christmas and they look just like this but with initials and then in home sense they had these with like little christmas trees on they also had ones that said ho 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 they had ones that said joy um but i just got the christmas tree design it's huge as well so great for like a massive hot chocolate with loads of cream on it was only 4.99 and the anthropology ones that's the brand if you wanted to look it up but the anthropology ones i think they retailed for about 15 pounds a couple of snacks and this is where i wanted to just let you know an absolute treat of a find m and i mean i have a confession we have eaten all of these but m and do these what they call them outrageously chocolatey milk chocolate coated bourbon cream biscuits and they do not hold back on the layer of chocolate on the outside it's not a thin flimsy it's a thick chunky you have to really bite through it the best biscuit ever of all time they also however do these which we've recently discovered same again outrageously chocolatey milk chocolate coated custard creams these ones so whether you're a chocolate lover these ones are a bit more sickly because of the custard cream incredible i actually think i prefer the custard cream ones do i yeah i think i do they do also do the like festive ones which they've done in the past the chocolate coated this one is the speculos and cookies and cream biscuits which are nice but they don't beat the other ones. They just have to be in your trolley next time you go to M&S or do an online Ocado shop, whatever. Get them. You won't regret it. And last but not least, foodie-wise, I've got these to share with you. I said when I showed these, when I bought them, that I would let you know what I thought of them. So again, a little snack review we've got here. Caramelized biscuit popcorn. I'm actually not going to rate these too high. They're okay and I will eat it, but it's, I, I don't get much caramelized biscuit. It, I get kind of like a burnt flavor and it, it almost, they don't feel that sweet. They don't taste that sweet. So it's almost like they're like a bit of a savory snack, even though obviously they're caramelized biscuit, you'd expect them to be a lot sweeter. So they are nice, but they're just not as good as I thought they would be. But then I also saw these. So these are savory obviously, because they are popcorn chicken, popcorn, KFC. Should we try one? I feel like I need to let you know what I think of it. Oh yeah, okay, I just got a little hint of uh, popcorn chicken. That is weird. <laughs> I think I'm not gonna lie of the two I would rebuy these ones again mm. I'm expecting them to be savory I even feel like if you're hosting and you know like nibbles you can have crisps and nuts I always think salted popcorn is really nice as well I also have I just jotted them down on my phone a couple of recommendations for TV and actually youtubers couple of people i've recently discovered i don't know if it's this month or the month before but people that i have been following and enjoying their content first of all toby's home very cottage cutesy content wholesome perfect for this time of the year but also how they've renovated their cottage incredible and then also hannah adkins which i've been following and like watching her vlogs and realized that she's actually local to me so I might reach out to her and say hello and if she wants to meet up. But um, yeah, again, her content, super cozy for this time of the year and wholesome and 
bit of renovations and stuff as well so like similar kind of lines to my content so hannah adkins on youtube and also obviously like her instagram and stuff as well but two youtube social media recommendations and then i've got quite a few tv recommendations or things i've started and loving so first really fun easy watch well i say easy it's actually quite stressful in places but celebrity race across the world is such a good watch i feel like it motivates me to want to travel and i'm a nervous traveler and i feel like it kind of yeah it's just super motivational the the things that they get out of racing around the world basically racing across the world and the memories and things that they take from it i just think is so wholesome and really inspiring my mum your dad again fun easy watch i feel like that's what they um itv kind of toyed with the idea of doing a older love island and i think that is the show that they were talking about because it's, it's basically that it's not abroad and also the kids get involved but it is, it's a nice watch. Something a little more spooky, scary, this time of the year appropriate is a Netflix Midnight Mass, it's called, new series. Well, I say new, it's not new, I don't think, but Midnight Mass, I think it's the same producers that did, I think, uh, what's it called? Haunting, what was it called? House on the Haunted Hill or Haunted Hill on the House haunted house on the hill something like that which i actually found really scary because anything like paranormal like that just gets me but midnight mass isn't paranormal it's kind of cult religion based whereby they um it's like this community that lives on an island that only like a boat access can access it and there's a few weird and strange things going on that kind of it's a little bit far-fetched it's a little into sci-fi but not too much so that if it's too sci-fi for me i'm not interested but it kind of a bit like i suppose stranger things although i would say that's even more sci-fi there's one that i want to watch on itv it's called the long shadow which i think is a dramatization i think it's again about four six parts something like that based around the yorkshire ripper and i love anything like true crime related even if it's dramatization of it so that is something that i want to watch let me know if you have seen it yourself and i was going to recommend some books but i haven't really started reading anything new again i really want to read verity that's next on my list and it has been on my list for ages colleen colleen hoover book um but i've been slacking this month with my reading and it's a real shame because when i do get into reading i actually really enjoy it so um yeah i just find myself drawn to putting on the tv or putting on youtube instead of watching instead of reading when really i think my mind actually switches off a lot better if i delve into a good book i'm going to conclude this vlog here i hope you guys have enjoyed it enjoyed spending the day with me and i hope you guys are excited for all of the october cozy content to come it's honestly one of my favorite months so any content in particular you would like to see from me then by all means send me a message on instagram or pop them um pop any ideas in the comments below and yeah thank you so so much for watching thumbs up if you have enjoyed it subscribe for more if you haven't already and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys